What's up, y'all? DJ Genre checking in. Just wanted to use this blog to pay homage, uh, respect to somebody very inspirational, instrumental to the culture that we lost this week. Uh, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Um, I haven't felt like this since that man right there died. Um, we lost. We really did. Like, you can see it from the post and the condolences and the vigils going on all across the world. Um, we really did lose, and, and it was senseless. Like, it's just, it, w it was for absolutely no reason that we lost somebody so special, and his family lost, and his kids lost. And, you know, this is just something that it's a constant cycle, and we just, I don't, I'm not sure how we get out of it, but all I can do is just offer my love and, you know, continue to work with my team, Level Next Music, to try to be a light and shine some light in the darkness because, like, we in some real dark times, and, you know, this is, what happened to Nipsey is, is, a, is a byproduct, an example of that, and, you know, we if we keep taking out all of the leaders, the people that's trying to give something to us, what we gonna have? You know, we, we wanna get rid of we we killing the ones that's trying to give back to us and it's it's sickening. But, you know, just wanna show love and did my beat this week, my one of my beats this week for the three sixty five beat challenge. Uh dropped some samples of Nipsey giving us light and inspiration and dropping gems, drop that over the beat. And so this blog is solely dedicated to Nipsey Hustle. Rest in peace and love, love and light to your family. And, you know, I'm out. Man, most important thing, number one, is you got to get rid of doubt. If you got doubt in what you're doing, it's not going to work. Before I got in the game, I was like, I'm going to be an artist that stick to my and really represent what I represent the whole way through living in a new era where, for example, I don't got cable TV, I watch the internet. The marathon is about seeing long term, seeing a vision, understanding that nothing really worthwhile happens overnight, you just stick to your script long enough to make something real happen. Laying a brick every day instead of trying to build a brick wall, just lay a brick every day. Eventually you look up and have a brick wall. in LA, on the west side, French on Swanson area. There's a lot going on in LA, especially out in certain areas. You know, we kind of got taken into that when we was a little bit younger, and then life moved on. You know what I'm saying? Opportunities were created. We was able to hop into this situation with the music. That was such a blessing. We were so fortunate. That's the, the big feat to me, not gangbanging, not hustling, I was whatever. Getting into the game, becoming relevant. Shit that really blew my mind. You know, we shut shit down, we drop a mixtape, everybody get it. Shows we throwing and selling out, we going places we never been. Everything getting bigger, we being able to make money off this game. So, hell yeah, I drank it. I didn't, I didn't always believe it, but I drank it.